Hey folks and welcome, my name is Eddie and in this video I'm going to cover pretty much everything you need to know about Xiaomi Mi Band 8. Now before we start, a few things I want to mention here. Uh, please don't buy NFC version if you're not in Asia because uh, you can't really use it anyway and um, you'll have problems as you can see. I see here a few things are going to be in Chinese. Um, I can't really translate that because the way the uh, language is set it's set by the region and um, if you buy the nfc you'll have to set china as the region for you to be able to connect it and that means that few of these things will be in chinese now when it comes to what comes in the box uh, you'll get the charging cable and the strap and that's pretty much it and some instructions of course but um, that's pretty much it that's all you're going to get in the box now let me show you how to remove the strap. It's really simple. On the other side you'll find this button here. So just press the button, pull gently, and it's really as simple as that. To bring the strap back, align it, press gently. That's pretty much it. It's super, super simple to do. Now one thing I need to mention here about this fitness band is that um, there are three different modes you can uh, wear it on the wrist with a strap. You can also wear it as a necklace or you can get a clip and clip it to the shoe. Uh, keep in mind that those accessories you have to buy separately. In the box you will get only um, this fitness band with the strap and the charging cable. Now the last thing I want to show you before we start is how to charge it. Turn it on the other side. You will find these two pins here. Just align them. And you will see it magnetically is going to click and you're going to see the percentage of the battery on the other side now if it doesn't click that means that you're trying to connect it from uh, the other side and because of the magnetism you will not be able to as you can see it, it's rejecting um, the the charger so just keep in mind that if that's happening to you you have to plug it from the other side and then it's going to just magnetically snap into the fitness band all right, now that that's clear, let's check out the software. Now here we have the standard watch face. If you press on the watch face and hold, it's going to take you to this menu where you can actually change the watch face to any other watch face you like. So I'm going to choose this one. To confirm it, just tap on it. It's really that simple. Um, if you want to install uh, different watch faces, go to the app, tap on the device. Then go to Manage Band Display. And here you have a very large collection of different watch faces. So I'm going to choose this one here. And when you tap on the watch face, you're going to see how the watch face looks like, but also how the screen looks like if you turn always on display. So obviously you have just one option here. Tap on Apply if you want to use this fitness band. Keep your fitness band close to the phone and wait for the installation. This video is brought to you by Stanley Quencher H2.0, the ultimate companion for every adventure. Experience the perfect blend of style, durability and functionality with the Stanley Quencher H2.0 Flow State Tumbler. No matter where life takes you, it keeps your drinks just the way you like them. For more information, check out the link in the video description below. So this watch face is now installed in your fitness band. If you would like to go to the old one, you can again press and hold and then go back to the old watch face or choose another one. Now that that's clear, let's go and check out the app list. See the app list, just swipe up. The first app in the list is the status. If you tap here, you will see your basic data like calories burned, how many steps did you do and so on. Now, if you open your app, you'll see the same things here and you can tap here on the device and find the status here and here you can change those restrictions for example here you have set by default 6000 steps but if you would like to do 10000 steps you can change that here and also you can disable this if you don't disable once you do the 10000 10, steps every day uh, the fitness band is going to vibrate and kind of congratulate you okay you did your goal of 10000 steps if you don't want to see that you can just disable it here. The next up on the list is the workout. Here we have different workouts. And if you tap here on more, 
you have even more there are probably more than 100 workouts here so it's just amazing how many workouts you have then you have activity here um, of course i didn't do any workouts so there is nothing here but you will see some data here after you do some workouts you have a running here again this is one of those workouts taken out of here and i assume that they put it here because most people are going to use this one here um, actually let me show you how it looks like so when you tap on the workout you have here you can tap on go right and you have different data here like the on the top you have a clock you have here uh, the heart rate calories and different stuff if you swipe to the right you have an option to pause or end the workout if you swipe to the left you have the music controller all right next up on the list is the status tap here uh, again just some data about um, this is the blood oxygen level and uh, the calories and so on the next step on the list is the heart rate up if you tap on it it's going to give you different a basic um, heart rate data here and it's going to try to measure your also heart rate but i'm not wearing the band so it's not doing that now uh, if you go to the app again you have the same data here on the first page so here it is and you can go to the device and scroll down to the heart rate now here you can uh, enable continuous monitoring so it monitors the whole day and actually i think the whole night too uh, then we have the heart rate high heart rate option so if you for example want to track your heart rate and say if the heart rate goes above certain level then notify me and what's going to happen the mi band is going to vibrate and said okay your heart rate is now above this level you can enable that here or you can do also for low heart rate so you can choose if your heart rate becomes really low then you can enable just like this enable it here and then once your heart rate goes below this 45 then the fitness band is going to vibrate and notify you about that and the third option here allows you to monitor your heart rate constantly and if it detects that uh, there are some irregularities with your heart rate, uh, it's going to notify you. So you can enable that here. Just keep in mind that this is going to cost you a little bit more battery life. The next app on the list is Vitality. This is again just um, an app that measures basically your vitality based on how much you move and things like that. Also, if you go to the app, you can tap here and get notifications on your vitality score. So if you move a lot, basically what's going to happen is that the fitness band is going to vibrate and kind of say, okay, good job. You are today, you have moved a lot to a lot of exercises and so on. Uh, it's up to you if you want to allow this. It's not that relevant. The next app on the list is SPO. Um, this app measures your blood oxygen level and um, you have to actually tap here to start measuring it it's not continuous like the heart rate but you can enable that with the app so if you go to the app you have here blood oxygen you can tap here and you can enable all day tracking again keep in mind that this is going to affect your battery life and beside that you can also same as with the heart rate if your blood oxygen let's say fall below 90 percent then notify me the next app on the list is the sleep app this app gives you a basic sleep data um, so if you again go to the first page you have the data here too so you can see your deep and light sleep REM and your heart rate and so on now if you go to the devices and move to sleep if you tap here you have two options here if you like to enable them uh, the first one will monitor your heart rate and track your REM sleep so if that's important to you you can enable it here and the second option is monitoring your breathing overnight again this will slightly affect the battery life also the next up on the list is the stress app so this app is going to measure your stress level now if you go to the app again tap on the devices here you have stress app you can enable it to um, measure your stress during the whole day and also you have uh, this option here which means that if the fitness band detects that you are stressed 
uh, it's going to start for you automatically the uh, breathing exercise up. I'm going to show you that up later. So these are these two options here. The next app on the list is Me AI. You're probably not going to have this um, app, and it's for the Chinese users only. The next app on the list is the weather. Now to see the weather, we have to enable it first. To do that, go into the app, and then here, tap on the devices and scroll down to the weather. Now you'll have to enable it here if you want to see the weather, and then you can choose up to four locations and temperature unit. So I'm going to choose here Vienna. This is where I live right now. And uh, yeah, now it should sync. Let's see. If I tap on the weather, yeah, here it is. So we can see uh, the weather outside right now. Sunrise, sunset, wind, humidity, and the weather for the next five days. Now, if you don't see the weather right away, go back and tap on this sync button here. So anytime you change something with the app, uh, if you don't see it on a fitness band, that means that you can just tap here on sync and it's going to automatically send that data to the fitness band. Uh, the next step on the list is the alarm. Here you can set up to 10 alarms and you can set them directly on the fitness band, but you can also do that on the phone. So how many times do you want it to repeat? You can do it daily, weekends, holidays, um, custom, uh, smart wake is on. Yeah, just confirm it, and that's pretty much it. If you want to delete it, tap on it again, tap here, and it's removed. And you can do the same thing if you go to the devices and just scroll down here. You have your alarms, and you can add them, edit them, or remove them here. The next two apps have to do with um, um, cashless payments. Uh, this fitness band has NFC chip, that's why we see them. Uh, but this is, again, just for the people in asia so i'm going to skip those then we have the settings and inside of more we have more apps so let's tap here the first app on the list is cards so this is for the credit cards then we have the events so to add an event you will again go to the mobile app tap on the devices scroll down to the events tap here and here you can add an event so write something here choose the the date the time and so on so once you do that, you'll have the event here, but you'll also have it here. You can see that in alerts. Here it is. In alerts, you're going to see the list of your events. And the uh, event is just going to show you once that event goes off, you're going to see it here. The next up on the list is the breathing exercise. This is just a simple app where kind of if you are if you feel a little bit stressful you can turn it on and it tells you to inhale and exhale slowly so it's just a simple breathing exercise app which kind of helps you reduce the stress the next app on the list is the stopwatch it's just a simple stopwatch this is how it looks like you can pause it cancel it and so on then we have the music controller uh this app controls the music on your phone. Uh, you cannot have music installed here. That's important to understand. Rather, this is just a music controller. So let me show you how that works. So this is how the app works. So you can play something, for example, with any app I'm playing something here on YouTube. You can see the title here. You can pause the video. You can play it. You can skip the track, go to the next video in this case. So if I tap here, notice that now it skipped to the next video. And also I can control the audio here. Today is the 5th of October 2021. And the price of Honor Band 6 is 50 US dollars. The watch comes in. And that's how the music controller works. The next app on the list is Find My Phone app. This app is going to use the Bluetooth connection to find your phone and to make it ring. So this app is good if you lose your phone. You can just come here, tap to search, and here it is. It's going to make your phone ring so it's easier to find it. Tap on stop, and that's how you use Find My Phone app. 
The next up is the world clock, nothing relevant. Then we have a silence phone. So if your phone is raining, you can silence it with the fitness band. Then we have the camera app. This app allows us to take photos with the fitness band. So if you tap here, you will see that you'll need to pair it first. To do that, go to the devices, then scroll down to the camera right here and tap on pair. Now keep your fitness band closed. And once the pairing is done, you're going to see something like this. So you'll be able to control the shutter of your camera with the fitness band. If I tap here, we'll see that we have a counter and it goes off. And here you can change that to five seconds or instant. So now if I tap here, it's instant. So that's how this app works. The next up on the list is the timer. So we have some predefined timers here. Once the timer is done, the fitness band is going to vibrate and let you know that it is done. And all, obviously you can set your own timer here. Then we have the flashlight. This is a simple app which gives you a little bit light. So if you wake up at night, for example, and you need some light, uh, this fitness band is going to give you enough light to navigate through your apartment. Uh, then we have a focus and this is again a type of a timer which disables the fitness band. So during these 25 minutes, uh, the DND &D is on. That means that if you get a message, uh, this fitness band is not going to vibrate. It's going to go on. Don't disturb. And uh, those are all the apps. Uh, before we go to the settings, I just want to show you uh, all of these apps can be rearranged. Also, you can take some of the apps from the main list and put them here in more, and some of the apps from the more, take them out of here and put them in the main list. So let's see how we can do that. To do that, open your app, go to the devices, and then tap here on sort apps. Now, if you look at the app list, we can see that the status is first, workout is the second, activity is the third, and so on. And we can see the same order here. So to change the order, just press and hold and you can move, for example, the workout to the first place. Now, if I go to the apps, you'll see that the workout now is on the first place. So you can rearrange them. Also, if you scroll down, you'll see that you have those more options, those hidden apps here. You can also rearrange them or you can take something from the main list. So I'm going to take this apps and hide them here, for example, I don't want them visible. And then I'm going to take the find my phone up and I'm going to drag it all the way up as the first app on this main list. Now, again, if you look at the list, you'll see that the find my phone is first. So we can rearrange those and we have also a move those payments app in here. Here they are. Now let's take a look at the settings. Tap on settings. The first thing is the running mode. Now to explain what this is, actually, I'm going to open it here because you have it here also with the app. And here is kind of visual, so it's simpler to explain. So the default running mode is the one that, well, with the, with the strap, you put it on the wrist and wear it like a watch. That's what's selected here. But you have also a pebble mode where you can buy an accessory and put it on the shoe or you can have a necklace mode where you can buy this part and wear it as a necklace now these two accessories need to be bought they are not found in the box with this fitness band you'll get just a strap here and nothing more so i'm going to leave it on the band mode the next thing on the list is the band display if you tap here you have those different watch faces you can change them here we already so that then we have a display option here we have the brightness it's auto or we can also choose custom and control the brightness or uh, use the auto then we have a auto lock so this is basically um, when will the watch face go dark after how many seconds after you tap on the screen to see the screen right so you by default is five seconds i think that's enough but you can increase it here race to wake feature is scheduled from 8 a.m to 10 p.m race to wake is basically let me show you if you have it on the wrist and you kind of turn your wrist 
you can see now it shows you the screen. If you want to disable that, then you can do it right here by tapping on off. Then you have a screen on for 5, 10 or 20 minutes. I'm going to choose actually here 20 minutes because I'm doing this demonstration. Then we have always on display. So there is an option of always on display. Again, you can choose the scheduled option so it doesn't work during the night. And cover to sleep. Well, I already showed you. Just cover the screen and it goes to sleep. The next thing on the list is the vibration. Here you can change the vibration strength. So if you want to use this fitness band to wake you up in the morning, definitely use the strong one as the default vibration is not very strong. Also, if you go to the app and the devices, here you have a vibration settings where you can change uh, different types of vibration based on what is causing the fitness band to vibrate. So for example, if, if it's notifications, you can choose default, but you can also make custom vibrations by uh, tapping on add. And to create vibration, you just press and hold on the screen like this. So you can make different patterns for different things. And then you can easily recognize is this vibration, based on the vibration you can recognize, is it notification, is it call or whatever it is. So you don't even have to look at your fitness band just based on vibration. You can figure out what is the fitness band uh, notifying you of. The next thing on the list is DND settings. DND stands for don't disturb. We have here sleep mode, which is off. Um, I would turn it on when the device recognizes that you are asleep. DND will turn on automatically. So definitely turn this on. Uh, also sync with phone. This option here. If you turn it on, it's going to sync your don't disturb from the phone. So for if you put your phone uh, on don't disturb, then your phone is automatically going to put your fitness band on don't disturb. So that's what this is here. The next thing on the list is app notifications. So here you can you have some settings, for example, wake screen up on the notifications. Definitely turn this on. Notify only when worn. Uh, notify only when phone is locked. So it's up to you to choose uh, which one you want here. You can also have here an option of auto detect. If you turn this on, your fitness band is going to detect, for example, if you're walking and you start running, it's going to detect that you're running and it's going to start a running app automatically for you. Then we have here preferences, uh, wake method. So the wake method, for example, you can see now it's tap screen that means that if the screen is off you tap to see it and you also have an option to swipe up if you change to that and the screen is off you now have to swipe up to see the screen right you cannot tap anymore if i tap nothing happens i need to swipe up so that's what that is then we have the press and hold screen so this is an option to edit the band uh, display if you want to disable that you can disable it here and the last option is to lock the screen. So for example, if I wake up the screen like this, to see it, you're going to see the screen, but it's going to be locked. You'll have to, after that, swipe up to be able to use the fitness band. So I think that's unnecessary really here. So I'm not going to uh, do it. Now, the next option here is pin. You can set a pin here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the way that pin works is that once you take your fitness band um, off your hand and you want to use it, see now if I tap and I try to use it, I'll have to enter the pin first to unlock the fitness band and then I can use it. Um, otherwise, I will not be able to use the fitness band. So that's what that is. And once I enter the pin, now I can use it normally, right? Below the pin, we have a battery here. You can see the battery level. You can, you can also turn on the battery saver mode here. Then we have a system. We have an option here for reboot. Uh, rebooting It's just going to restart your fitness band. It's not going to disconnect it or erase anything. Then we have a power off, the same thing. But if you tap on the reset, then you're going to basically do a factory reset where you're going to uh, disconnect from the phone and erase all of your data so definitely don't 
to this. The last option is just about the band and that's pretty much it. We are done with the settings here. And once you are at the watch face, you see the notifications swipe down. You can see here missed calls and messages. Um, you can see here, for example, that um, John Doe, I have two missed calls from John Doe. And it also shows you that uh, the phone was ringing for eight seconds. So I think that's really cool. And we also can see our messages here. For example, here is a message from the same person um, on the WhatsApp. Now, to enable this, go to your phone, phone app, tap on the devices, and then scroll on app notifications. So first of all, actually, let's go to the incoming calls. And you want to turn on this option here so that your Mi Band is going to vibrate on incoming calls. And you also have an option to allow here to a reply with messages and uh, here are some few options of quick replies you can also add your own so if someone calls you uh, for example here i cannot do it here but when someone is calling you you'll have an option to swipe up and choose one of these quick replies and then that's going to be sent to the one who is calling you as a message and as i already said you can add your own quick replies this is how you'll get the call notifications to get the notifications from the apps like WhatsApp here. Go back to the app, tap on the devices and tap here on app notifications. Make sure that this is on. Wake screen should be on. Receive only when phone is locked. This is really up to you. And uh, here, don't turn this on. This is for all apps. You don't want to get notifications from all apps. Rather, you want custom notifications. So tap here. And here you can choose from which apps you would like to get notifications. And once you're done, just tap on done. And yes, if you're wondering, you can also get notifications from your calendar. I know that many of you are always asking me, can we uh, get notifications from the calendar? Yes, definitely you can do that too. And the last thing I want to show you here in the notification panel, if you scroll all the way up, you have an option to clear all. So if you tap on that, your notifications uh, will be cleared. Now, once you are on the watch face, swiping left or right will take you to the widgets. This one here cannot be changed. It shows you uh, don't disturb, find my phone and quick access to the settings. But the rest of these quick widgets can be changed or uh, sorted out. To do that, go to again to the app, tap on the devices, scroll down to the widgets, tap here. And here you can rearrange them. So I'm on the watch face now. If I swipe left, you'll see the first widget. This is the first widget here, but now I'm going to change it so that the weather is the first widget on the list. And now again, if I do that, see, now on the first place here, it's the weather. Now again, all of these widgets can be also edited. For example, if I tap here, I can change this widget for something else. And you have the list of many different things you can put here. Uh, let's say I'm going to put here the music controller, not the weather. I need to tap here on the plus. Sorry about that. And then tap here on the check. And now, again, if I swipe to the left, now you can see that the music is on the first place here. So each one of these widgets can be replaced with something else. This one is kind of special because you have these two things and you can choose what you want to see so for example here if i want to see the steps only i can add the steps here and um, for the second one i can add let's say the stress level and then tap on the check and now again if we go to the app i'm going to swipe two times and here it is it's really that simple now with this, I'm pretty much done with everything when it comes to the fitness band. There are just a few things with the app I need to show you. So most of these things I have already showed you. Notifications, everything is clear here. Uh, alarms, weathers, heart rate, sleep, load oxygen. I talked about all of this. Here we have an option for standing. Now these are standing reminders. For example, if you turn this on, then um, if the fitness band detects that you are sitting for a very long time, <clears throat> if the fitness band detects that you are sitting for, let's say, an hour, it's going to notify you to stand up. So that's what this app is. 
Then we have also here, let's see, I've showed you pretty much everything and find the device. Uh, this is going to use a Bluetooth connection to look for the Mi Band and make it vibrate. So if I tap here, you can see that it's vibrating. It doesn't really help you to find this device, but maybe it can help if the Finbind is somewhere on the table so you can hear the vibration or something like that. It's better than nothing. We have a set password. We already saw that camera. And then the last thing here, uh, we have an option to update. You should definitely always update your Mi Band. If there are any updates to be installed, I sincerely advise you always install the latest updates. And with this, we are pretty much done with all the features. I think I've covered pretty much everything you need to know about this fitness band. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this was educational for you. I hope that uh, I've managed to help you with this uh, video. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. If this video was helpful to you, please consider. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.